yeah, so the, the, the meeting is being recorded. I'd like to welcome all of you again. Um, let's share the screen for our topic today. Uh, so if you can see the screen, please write down something in the chat box, write down yes in the chat box. Yes, I can see. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Okay. Mr. Ben when you yes. mute, when you mute the participants, you're going to find uh, something called uh, that they are able to unmute themselves. So you can look on it so yes. that they cannot uh, do that again. Okay. So enable uh, which which part? Sorry. When you click on mute all, you're going to find an icon says that they can unmute themselves. All participants to mute uh, current participants will be muted. Okay, I'll try this. Uh, let's check whether it works or not. Okay, so um, as we said, like this uh, uh, presentation is uh, being conducted through ITI Egypt. I'd like to thank them for having me, my uh, second home. And um, today's topic, inshallah, will be about uh, using technology and uh, learning and teaching. I try to make the mix between learning and teaching uh, vocabulary and grammar. But before we go to our topic, uh, I will just start with some kind of icebreaker. We just want you to know about me and I, know, I want to, uh, to know about you all also. So uh, I'll start with um, some pictures about me. Let's share the screen. Um, now I'll present some pictures for you uh, about myself. And I want you to write down in the chat box, uh, what can you refer from the picture? What is the, the relationship between the picture and me? So maybe a picture of place, maybe a picture of uh, bait, maybe a picture of an occasion. So try to guess what the occasion is. So with the first picture, what do you think this picture relates to me? Just write down in the chat box, just few words. What do you think? I'll try to join from the phone so that I can see your comments. So write down in the chat box, what do you think this picture relates to me? Hmm. Until I just open the Zoom on phone so that I can uh, find your comments. Yes, I'm writing audio, close camera. This meeting is being recorded. Chat box. Yes, my city, but which city? I'm Mr. Henny. What do you think? <laughs> Egypt, so Egypt is a city. Okay, so yeah, that's great. This is Mansoura. This is my lovely city that I was born in. So no, Mr. Muhammad Wa'il, it is not Cairo, it's, it's Mansoura. Okay, let's check the second one. What do you think of this picture? Just write down to me in the chat box. What do you think of this picture? <laughs> yeah, my hometown, Mr. Fayati. Uh, I miss you so much. 17 is my age, so <laughs> am I 17 years old? Do I seem like to be the uh, young person? Graduation, that's very great. Uh, uh, mother of Asher, so uh, this is my year of graduation. This was uh, 2017, so I'm still so young, maybe. Um, I graduated from Al Azhar University, faculty, yeah, exactly. Uh, Azhar University, Faculty of Languages and Translation. What about the next picture? What do you think of this picture? It's 
So try to guess the occasion. Yeah, it seemed that there is a, cert a certificate and so on, but uh, try to guess the occasion. Is it for graduation or something else? In school? Nope. Not in the school, Muhammad Wael. Try to guess. SAT? No, <laughs> uh, I'm not that specialized in SAT uh, anymore. Like, you know, I'm just trying to work on myself in this. Yeah. Holy Quran? No, diploma. So actually, uh, this was um, an award from uh, President or the Dean of Al Azhar University. Um, this was after uh, I delivered um, a training course for Al Azhar University staff members at Mansoura. It was responsible for the whole program. So this is um, after the program, uh, I got that certificate. Yeah, honoring. Yes, Mr. Okay, what about this one? Uh, just try to put one word for the four pictures. Sun? No, I don't have the sun. I know that Abrahman here is somehow similar to me, but is not my son. Mm, memories, maybe. But where, where? Well, I know can this is school. Let's answer it for you. This is my, uh, one of my schools. Yes, not student, Mr. <laughs> Henry, I was a teacher. Um, okay, so um, it was my first school in Egypt uh, before I, come here, I came here to Saudi Arabia. So what about this one? Not Al Aruba, uh, it wasn't Al Aruba. So, what about these two pictures? Seem that uh, the first one with IPTI, but try to guess. Course, no. Seminar, yeah. Uh, I was in a training institute, yes. Um, and the first one here, when, I, when we joined IPTI last year, uh, I got a scholarship to study TESOL uh, with them. And then um, like in a few months, I was just nominated to represent them in one of the like conferences in Egypt about education. And here I was talking to this uh, Nigerian guy who was discussing the education in Egypt and Nigeria and so on. Okay, last one, of course, clear to all of you. Try to write down to me. <laughs> So what about now? Can you hear me, me well now? Yeah, exactly. This is Al-Aruba School. This is the school I work on nowadays. Um, uh, in, this, in this picture here, um, it was only one session with these grade one students who played some activities, you know. Um, I had just finished a course for teaching young, young learners and I tried to apply some activities. They liked it very much. And this is when my uh, class is in grade seven. Uh, here they, they won some kind of competition, so we celebrated together, and this is the last semester. So this is some info about me. Uh, I just wanted to start with this. Um, now I want to go to our lesson. Um, let's start with the uh, workshop objectives. So why I tried to present this workshop, why I wanted to present it to you. Um, so by the end of the workshop, you will be able to Realize two approaches, two ways of learning and teaching vocabulary. As a teacher, you can focus on them. As a student, uh, as a student, you, you are learning English yourself uh, or with the guidance of your teacher. Uh, you can uh, just refer back to them. Also, what technology we can use now? This is uh, the age of technology. Uh, what technology tools we can use to uh, express and put the two approaches into um, action? We're also going to use some kind of technology tool that we can use in learning grammar. But before we start, uh, you should know that this is a passing knowledge. Um, I just received a course uh, with the American Teacher Program. It's a, a program offered by the University of uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, um, uh, the, U the US Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Education Department, and they target teachers all over the world to improve their teaching skills. So I got a course about technology. Uh, it covers technology about reading, writing, listening, speaking, and so on. Uh, also, vocabulary and grammar. I just choose to have some tools about vocabulary and grammar and present them to you. So it's a graded workshop in the sense that um, you may find things just, uh, like easier for you and something new for you. 
So it is not all new. It's not all new. It's not all um, old info. But we try to make the mix and how to we optimize each tool and take it into our advantage for our students. Okay. So it's also a hands-on experience. Uh, I mean by this that I needed to be more practical than theoretical. I don't want to talk much. I just want you to uh, participate with me and to write down. Uh, I'm just raising my hand virtually <laughs> to myself. Hello, Ms. Alir, how are you doing? Uh, I'm very happy to see you here. Um, so hands-on experience, I want you to participate with me as you're doing right now to, to write down in the chat box. If you want to talk uh, to us about like any website I'm going to view for you, if you know this website well, so I need to go back and just give you the floor uh, to tell us about it. And uh, if you have any like more features, I can just tell them for you. So that's why get ready to share your laptop. If you have um, a laptop, try to get ready so that we can. Uh, so the one who is playing at the screen, please stop this. Um, so try to get ready to share your screen if you know the uh, any of the websites we're going to use. Um, I just want to stop this. participants um, so I think it's in the sharing part okay uh, let's try to to handle it so a link of the feedback of the certificate may be posted by Mr. Saber by the end of the session for the certificate of attendance of this uh, workshop. Um, so just wait for it. Don't leave it. So for part one, I chose to start with vocabulary because it's somehow uh, important, crucial point in learning any language. We all know as teachers and students also we should know this. Uh, the more vocabulary we have, the more our language will be uh, perfect. But it's how to use vocabulary into practice, whether in reading. Um, to guess new vocabulary in writing, we reflect what we learn in reading. Um, stop sharing, then stop the options. Okay, thank you so much for this, Ms. Summer. So I made it one person can share at a time. Okay, so now let's share again the screen. Okay, so again, uh, it's important to check the vocabulary, how uh, it's important and how can we use what we learn from reading and listening, as you know, and receptive skills and put them into uh, production uh, as a productive skills, like speaking and writing, but we, we are not able to do this unless we have uh, a good range of vocabulary. So in the chat box, please write to me, how can we learn vocabulary? What are the ways we learn vocabulary? In just a few words in the chat box. I'm going to read your comments now. As a learner, how do you learn vocabulary? We have here uh, some of the students. We have also teachers. So if you are a teacher, even in other subjects, like we have now, uh, I'm very happy to have Mr. Aiz with me, uh, my like great brother. So write down to me as a teacher, uh, how do you learn new vocabulary or teach vocabulary and students how to learn vocabulary? Through contacts, that's great. Um, through pictures, awesome, Mr. Sober. Realia, that's great. Pictures, T. So how, how can you learn vocabulary with tea, you know? Drinking tea, you can like learn new vocabulary, teach you vocabulary, pictures, reading, watching movies. Uh, yeah, Merivrem, my Georgian friend, I'd like to welcome her. Thank you so much, I'm very happy to see you here. Uh, personalization, that's very awesome. That's the one. Synonyms, realia, antonyms, and so on. So this is all great, this is all correct. But I'd like to put two main ways of learning vocabulary. Let's see them. 
So we have intentional way of learning vocabulary. We're teaching it and incidental. Can anyone guess what does it mean, intentional and incidental? Acting, maybe. So write down to me what do you think of the meaning of intentional and incidental? What is the difference? Anyone to write down on the chat box? Just write down a few words. Listening to people, talk. That's very great, Muhammad. So by intentional, uh, we have the word intention. So we are focusing on studying vocabulary. But incidental, no, we're just doing something else, like reading, like speaking, watching video, and then we find a word, we grab it, we check it on the dictionary, and then, of course, we write down like the word with synonyms, antonyms, and the context, and so on. But what I mean here that in the intentional, Targeting, maybe. What, what do you mean by targeting? So in the intentional, I, I'm focusing on learning vocabulary. Today, I'm sitting down to learn vocabulary. Um, for we as teachers, we teach vocabulary in international schools and in any, any school like national, international, we teach vocabulary. Um, we focus on vocabulary, vocabulary lesson, this is intentional. But when we teach listening session, or gram or reading session, now we are taken as incidental. So I think this is clear, right? Yes, incidental in movies and speaking, intentional in courses. Yeah, that's great. Um, I don't know, this is Mr. Muhammad, or I just write down your name, not to get you. Ms. Mona said, watching videos about a certain title, um, which contains all the related vocabulary. But uh, you're just watching for learning vocabulary, from this video, or just you watch it, the, you're watching the, the movie, for example, and then you face words and you start to, uh, to learn the new vocabulary. What do you think? Just write down to me, Ms. Mona. Intentional by reading, but incidental by speaking. No, is not accurate, Ms. Mona, I'm sorry. So again, intentional, I just bring a word list where um, a reading lesson with words, context, and so on, sentiments, and things, and so on. So I'm studying now, this time, studying vocabulary. I had the intention and the focus on studying vocabulary. The other way is incidental, which is um, I'm doing something else, my focus on something else, and then I am giving, like, getting new vocabulary out of the context I'm reading. So let's try to apply this point now and this game or just exercise. Uh, here, I just made some kind of comparison between intentional learning and incidental learning. Uh, regarding the focus, the examples, uh, the learning process, uh, the characteristics of the learning process, and the use of this one, of this uh, either intentional or incidental. Uh, I want you in the chat box to write down to me um, I just mixed the points here. So try to guess which word should be uh, reversed or exchanged from its position. For example, um, learning by incident as a result of focus. Do you believe that um, this applies to intentional or it applies to incidental? Of course it applies to incidental. So we write down in the chat box number one. Then we read number two, three, four, and so on. And number three, we have A, B, C, and D. You have two minutes just to read them to scan this uh, comparison between incidental and intentional. And write down only in the chat box uh, what can you see uh, the points need to be reversed, uh, which is not in each position. So you have two minutes for this to do this activity. Um, write down to me. Uh, are you going to read only or read and write in the chat box? So are you going only to see this picture or just read and write the points to be reversed? I'll answer myself. You, sh you should write down in the box the points that should be reversed. Uh, you have two minutes. Try to read. Yes, exactly, Mr. Uh, you have two minutes for this activity. I'm going to um, 
pause my camera now and just read for your uh, answers. So hello again. <laughs> so um, if you want to tell me your opinion, just please raise your hand so that I can uh, see you from the participants. I can see you and then allow you to talk. Raise your hand so that I can allow you to talk to me and tell me what do you think, uh, which points are in this place and which points need uh, to be uh, replaced with the other one. محمد وائل So I'm trying to unmute you. Yes, yes hello Mr. Muhammad. Um, I'm I'm fine, thank you. Go ahead. Mister, I think it should be uh number two, which mm -hmm. uh, word list or uh, word cards uh yes. vocabulary exercises dictionary use should be switched with with uh, from le reading or resonate mm -hmm. listening and watching movies uh yes. listening songs co casual conver conser conversion conversation 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 okay so uh guys do you believe uh, that Muhammad is, is correct. Do you believe that word lists and word cards and vocabulary are examples of incidental learning, not intentional learning? Try to raise your hand and just tell me. No, yes, Ms. Dahlia, of course. Uh, so we said we intend, Muhammad, when we have the intention and the focus in studying vocabulary, so we have word list, word cards, so we're talking about vocabulary. But incidental, we're just doing something else like reading and listening, and then we got new vocabulary. Yeah, exactly, exactly, that's awesome. So is there any other points? Please raise your hand, I can, like, I want to listen to you. If you're ready to talk, please just raise your hand. Yes, that's great. Yes, we're very, that's awesome. So again, we, we focus on the learning process of like vocabulary, why we are in intentional, we have word list. Um, here, yeah, no, 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 Muhammad, it's okay. No, no need to, sorry. Uh, slow and fragile learning and the input tends to be random. Do you think this is intentional or uh, incidental? Muhammad Wail again, okay. Yes, yes Muhammad, sir. go ahead. Uh, I think, um, I think it's master, I, I, I think it's intentional, I think. So, uh, thank you Muhammad for your participation. But uh, if we talk about like intentional, so it is not slow, it can be learned systematically and the meanings are uh, learned 16 times faster than the incidental learning. So we just exchange these two points together and retention and the intentional is easy. Where when, we, when we need to remember the vocabulary, it, it may be easier. Um, uh, 
um, it is easier than when we just study words in other contexts and then we just uh, know the meaning and pass by without recording. Because I believe if we record the, the points, the word from context will be more great. So now this is intentional and learning. What website we can use for learning and intentional? So we have here some, we have some websites we need to use. Uh, this is the actual, uh, the, the last one, let's go back. This is the actual, um, po uh, the actual position of each point. You can refer back to it. Um, here we start with Sadler Connect. So who knows Sadler Connect uh, series book, uh, website? Thank you so much, Khafegi. Uh, Mr. Khafegi is teaching in the uh, uh, United Arab Emirates, so one of my dear friends. So um, who knows Sadler Connect, guys? So again, if you want to participate, please, and just want to open your microphone and talk to me, just raise your hand and I can listen to you. Mr. Sabri, I think uh, which is more effective, uh, this comes to the, the focus of the lesson itself. Um, you know, people who studied CELTA just told us that Sometimes you have uh, the focus on the uh, vocabulary lesson or um, maybe a reading lesson, whatever the focus is. Yeah, of course, of course, Ms. Avir. So uh, this is the, the accurate um, order of each point. And uh, I'm going to present you, to give you the presentation after the session, but just uh, to go on because we have many points to cover. Okay, just to be in a hurry, uh, Settler Connect is uh, a vocabulary book we use in international schools. Some international schools use it, yes, vocabulary workshop, uh, as uh, Honor X, uh, 9X said. So it's a kind of, it's a kind of um, uh, vocabulary workshops uh, online, if we just uh, present here the website. So uh, this is the website, Sadler Connect. I'll, I'll post you the presentation, and the presentation has whenever you click on each point, you can it refers back to the website itself. So we just open Sadler Connect, um, and then we go to. Uh, it's better to choose the student part. So it opens for me, it has many, many resources. Uh, what I didn't see, like maybe till before the, the, the session, I was just preparing, I just wanted to show you this uh, uh, website. It has a collection for writing. It has a collection for uh, grammar. And the writing part is so great, like covering different kinds of essay and so on. Um, it's not only for students, those who are preparing themselves for IELTS can just use it. As for vocabulary, for example, if we just take this kind of workshop, it takes vocabulary for students from grade one, from KG even to uh, grade 12. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so here if we just choose any, um, any uh, unit, for example, unit seven, of course you have the, um, the hard copy of the book, and then this is an online uh, website that help you. If I just go to the I words here, I can find here um, this kind of audio for the, con the text that we have. Uh, it's about a text that you have the vocabulary to elicit from it. It has like 20 uh, words per unit, and here we have the pronunciation of each unit, and using each word, uh, sorry, the pronunciation of each word and using each word into context. So this is for the audio part and you can even download it from here. Here's a part for downloading it. So this is for Sadler Correct. This is so great to use with your students to prepare them for 
to build up their vocabulary. So, of course, we have Quizlet. Uh, I'm not talking about Quizlet. I just want any of you to raise your hands and just tell me what Quizlet is. If Ms. Abir just can just ra uh, raise the, her hand to, uh, to talk, please let me know. The site is not on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I didn't just open the site right now. Um, where is the site? That's very great. Okay. I just want someone to tell me, to raise your hand and just tell me uh, when you just uh, review the, the site, you can tell me what is it about. There is Quizlet. All teachers know it. Okay, I will unmute you uh, right now, Ms. Abish. Just raise your hand so that I can see you easily. Wait a second. Ms. Abir. Hello, Ms. Abir, how are you doing? Hi, how are things? Yeah, I'm doing very great. Yes, nice, nice to hear from you today. Thank you so much. That's my pleasure. Yeah, we miss you so much, really. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, we are I'm, very proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my, my pleasure. So okay. what can you tell us about Quizlet, please? Uh, for Quizlet, uh, actually, I don't deal with it so much, uh, but I have uh, some other tools uh, mm -hmm. like Zoom, like for uh, um, for the cloud, uh, for Liberty. Um, yes. So we are, yeah, actually, yes. a badlet. So I'm dealing with other tools apart yes. from uh, Quizlet and the uh, Quizlet. Yes. Yeah, that's very yeah, great. Yeah, because of the lack of the internet uh, in class, you know. Yeah. Okay, facilities here in Egypt is not like I, I uh, suffer there this. In Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, I actually, suffer this you know lot. it better. <laughs> yeah, you know it well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, so happy okay. to listen to the. Yeah, yeah, and that is mine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I, I can see that Mr. Raiz is raising his hand. Please unmute him. Mr. Raiz, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. I'm yeah. so proud of you, really. Yeah, I'm so happy to have you here today. So, uh, can you tell us about Quizlet? Have you tried this in your class with your students? Uh, I think I used it uh, little times with my students at classes, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, we were searching for some um, extra quizzes or extra questions mm -hmm. at the, some class times. Yes. Uh, so, Mr. Rez, you're teaching, you're teaching biology, right? Yes, I'm a teacher of biology. So it's not only about English. It's not only about English language. You can use it in biology, right? Uh, uh, really, I uh, mm -hmm. I surprised to to know such that uh, some biology uh, questions are found yeah. there. Yes. So uh, thank you so much, Mr. Rice, for this. Thank Quizlet. you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Uh, Quizlet is a kind of uh, activities or quizzes that you can offer your students in a funny way. So, for example, if we just write down here in the, in the search, um, all kingdoms, for example. So, um, you have many, many already prepared lessons. You can prepare your own uh, lesson, but uh, you already have many prepared lessons. For example, uh, you have a definition or a word like Hofu. What do you know about Hofu? We can apply it in English, we can apply it in biology. And then you, you try to get the, the answers of the students and then uh, you flip the cord and bring them the definition and so on. It, ha it has um, other features like learn, write, matching. I used to use matching in my class with my students. Uh, they just, we have the word and its definition. So you can just match the word to definition and check which group, you can even divide them into groups and check which group can finish it quickly. Okay, so the next point is about VOA news. Um, VOA news words, it's only a series for one word or, uh, per uh, episode. So if you just, you try to pick up some uh, words and teach them to your uh, students and then present the video for them that explains the context. Um, here I choose this 
to Word. I'll just show you an example of this uh, website and how we can uh, use it with the students. This is an example of the video of using Word into context. So let's see this video. No, because I'm using the Internet Explorer somehow, like the Internet in Egypt. Welcome to the Voice of America's News Voice. In Abuja, Nigeria, one structure stands out from the rest. Wanderlust. The house is the creation of Sayyid Jamal. He began building it in 1999 for his wife, who has wanderlust. He said he built it to keep her safe and to keep her near me. Jamal lives in the airplane house with his wife, children, and grandchildren. Wanderlust is a deep urge to travel. It is a love of wandering or moving around and going to different places without much planning. Now you know what? Okay, so just to um, save time, as you saw, as you saw, now it is uh, context. I can see people raising their hands. I'll check them. Um, it is a context where you can see a word and then uh, an explanation of the word. Of course, as teacher of English, now we know about the MBF and so on. You just apply it in the way that's uh, better for your students. Mr. Saber, I think, let's have him. Yes, Mr. Saber, go ahead. Uh, I just want to tell you that uh, the video hasn't been shown on screen. Really? <laughs> yeah, the video and the sites. I'm talking about Sadly Air Connect and the video. Am I right, guys, or not? It's nothing that appears. Nothing appeared, even sadly? Yes. Yes, I, I, I wrote that in the chat box, but <laughs> you didn't. <I'm> sorry. So <laughs> you didn't. What about now? Can you see it now? No. Okay. We need you to share it on, on the screen and share the voice or the sound as well. Yeah, that's very awesome. Um, computer sound. Okay. Just, just put on um, share yes, sound. Yes, I, I, know, I know. What about now? Yeah, it's uh, yes. yes. Now it's it's shown. Yes, it's, it's working so, now. So you can't tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't just. I uh, sent yes, you some messages, but you haven't paid attention. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm so sorry for this. Okay. Okay. No worries. Okay. Uh, so again, this is uh, a lesson from Sadly or Connect. You have here the the ten uh, the twenty vocabulary with. Um, the audio for each one, for example. Culprit. Can you see the lesson now to the audio? Culprit. Culprit is a noun meaning a person who has committed a crime or is guilty of misconduct or an offender. Eyewitnesses to a crime may be asked to describe the culprits to a police sketch artist. Also, the culprit who raided our vegetable garden turned. So this is an example of this uh, website. Again, um, if I just go back for this, uh, we have like this kind of items, which is I words. I enter here. Now we're going uh, backward, not forward. So I word here, I can find the audio for the words. I can find flashcards. Um, and even I can have practice sheets for my students. Uh, if we go back one, one step, uh, we have many series of vocabulary workshops according to the level of my students. We just made some kind of need analysis and check whether uh, it's better for their level or not. It also has many books like um, grammar and writing workshops and um, when you just join the website, you can just check here from student and family resource uh, to access these free sources. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, is it benefit for all levels? You check the level of the student. Mr. Sal. Okay. So again, uh, for, please. Yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, 
the resolution of the, the screen is not uh, as good as we expect. Can you go down at uh, on the left corner at the start video? You know the little arrow? Press on the small arrow beside it. Yes, yes. yes. And go to settings, I think. Make uh, it uh, HD. You know for the sharing screen? Yes, at, at this little, no, no, no. Beside the start video, there's a little arrow. Okay, press on it to search for uh, something like uh, make a HD. Uh, video okay. settings, video settings. Yes, video settings or camera yes. settings. Enable HD. Enable HD, yes. Thank what? you. Thank you so much. Uh, is it now good now? We are waiting. <laughs> so I just checked on or clicked on uh, enable HD. So yes. exit. Uh, Upper right. Yes. yes. What about we now? Are waiting to Shall I stop sharing and share again? Okay, do it. Screen. Um, share screen. Yeah. Okay. So what about now? I think a little difference. Maybe. I think. Okay. So this is for Sadler. Now we're focusing on intentional learning. Uh, this is Quizlet. You search for any topic. Uh, in Quizlet, and then you have the word and the definition, and you can do it uh, whatever you check. And by the way, these flashcards are um, printable. You can print these flashcards and give it to your students. We have other access here like learn, write, different ways of activities. Okay, then we have VOA uh, videos uh, for one word per episode. Um, I just want to share, check my video. Okay, so VOA is for uh, one word per episode. You just bring your students. I'll try to play it again and just tell me what you think of this. Welcome. To Did you hear the voice? Of course, I'll. I'll share them. So, but can you see the screen now and, and hear the voice? Yes, that's great. The Voice of America's News Words. In Abuja, Nigeria, one structure stands out from the rest. Wanderlust. The house is the creation of Sayed Jamal. He began building it in 1999 for his wife, who has wanderlust. He said he built it to keep her safe and to keep her near me. Jamal lives in the airplane house with his wife, children, and grandchildren. Wanderlust is a deep urge to travel. It is a love of wandering or moving around and going to different places without much planning. Now you know what wanderlust means. Find more news words on our website. Okay, so does wanderlust mean that someone who hates traveling? Write down in the chat box, like, let's apply the CCTV now. Uh, does it mean that someone who likes traveling or hates traveling? Ms. Dahlia said no. So it is for uh, someone who has the urge to travel from one place to another. Okay, uh, which sites do you suggest for teaching English to my daughter? So there are many, many um, websites we can use. Uh, I can just send you a private message, Mr. Rez, after this. Yes, exactly, Ms. Dahlia likes traveling. Yes, Mr. Sa. Okay, the other website is, let's check here. So Coca. Coca is a website is, uh, of course, it's not Coca as a player, of the Egyptian player. Of course, it's not uh, the Coca-Cola. But let's see uh, just a few, min few minutes about Coca. What is it about? 
just tell me whether you have the full screen or not. Yes, Mr. Sands. We'll start with, with list. List is the most basic function, and it allows you to put in a word or a phrase and then see the wider context around that word or phrase. Let's start with an example. We'll type in the word run into the search field and look for matching strings. Type in run, click find matching strings, and we'll see that run occurs in the corpus 131,714 times. If we click on the word run, we can see the wider context. It always takes COCA a minute to process any request. So what I want to add here uh, is you're searching for words, you can search for phrases like, uh, is it uh, take a run or go for a run? Which point is more used? Uh, so corpus of contemporary American English is better in this area. It offers you many, many examples. Uh, we have some points maybe in grammar, it can be used in grammar. Uh, in some books, they say you cannot say, um, I'm touching, for example, or I'm feeling, the, the sense of verbs. But in coca, it tells you that it is already used and uh, in what context it was used and so on. So here, the ACD, it, it refers to the academic, it may be, um, uh, it tells you that slang or whatever, and here, the source of coca. So it's a great um, corpus, corpus means like, like a big dictionary, where you can find many examples and check whether these um, uh, word or phrase is used or not, in which context and so on. It has many, uh, it has like four videos um, about how to use it. Uh, someone is raising his hand, I'll try to check. Mr. Saber, go ahead. Okay, so again, it's about um, the, how, how a word or um, a context, a verb is con used or a noun, whatever the word is. What about phrases? It can, about, it can give you uh, some researches about grammar and so on. So now we go to phantoms and simply phantoms, yeah. Uh, phantoms means what? It, it has like three um, names, phantoms, um, fans and fan fictions. From the, the, the last word, you can guess what does it mean, fan fiction. Can you just write down to me in the chat box, please? What do you think of this word, fan fiction? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Sabri, you can download uh, from this website. Your English is an example. Yes, Ms. Habir, that's very awesome. Um, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now, please? Just write down yes or no. Okay, the previous slide. Okay. Yes. Uh, Ms. Hayat, uh, this is the previous slide. I'll offer you the presentation after the, the session, inshallah. Uh, with like whenever you just click a word like this, like Sadler Connect, if you can see me, uh, it, refer it, gets, it gets you to the website. So uh, don't worry. So fandoms, fandoms means what, or fans? Simply when you uh, like a movie or a book or whatever, especially for literature, um, uh, and you want to uh, apply and develop your language, you need to write down uh, what your com what's your comments about? What are your comments about um, the articles that you read? Um, I just read a, a book for Mr. Ez about biology, for example. I just read my comments about the book in one of the fan fiction's websites. So how it would help me? It would like improve your English by just applying what you learn, the vocabulary that you learn, and uh, applying it into the writing uh, process so you can practice your uh, words. Uh, in the fan fiction websites, you can find uh, people who give you comments about your work, either the content or the, the language and so on. So it's about cultural or uh, cultural form or gender. It has many definitions here. I just tried to summarize the meaning of it. Um, fandoms is considered 
uh, extramural English. Do you know the meaning of this word, extramural English? What do you think the meaning of extramural English? I don't know. Okay, what do you, what do you think? Intensive reading? It's somehow close, Mr. Saber, but it is not intensive reading. Anyone who can tell us? Okay, so extramural English, it's about any activities that can be used outside the classroom. Uh, just focus on this because you, have, you will have this in a quiz after a few seconds. So extramural English here, It's any English related activity that you participate with your students and engage them. It's not only about the vocabulary or the grammar or any language lesson that you practice inside class. It's only about uh, like any activities that you practice outside class. So if we take an example for uh, one of the stories like Sherlock Holmes, who, who knows Sherlock Holmes? Of course, all of us know it. Um, so in Sherlock Holmes, um, you just read the, the the chapters and then you start to give your comments and here he tells us that it has many or inspired many adaptations so i read the story i just joined one of the fandom websites or um it can be the story can be turned into um a a, a, a movie or a series or whatever uh, one website that we have many websites to use applying phantoms Yes, exactly, Ms. Abir. Exactly, but it's not. It's not about. It's not about testing. You are not going to test them. You just in, like try to empower them with language, to involve them, to create the environment of English language in their life after school. Okay. So it develops um, an active fandom on social media, like what, like Tumblr. Let's have a look on Tumblr. Wait a second. So can you see this this page now? If you if you can see it, just write down yes, please. You can see the screen now. Not clear. So maybe because it's Internet Explorer. So you, it's not clear, or you can not see the front. It's not. It's not pure. Okay, uh, let's have it on Google Chrome. Can you see Google Chrome now? Is it more clear to you? Even even now and still not clear. Okay. So uh, I'll try to to give you the 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 main idea of this. Uh, Templar is a kind of website like uh, Facebook, like Twitter, and so on, and you can use it to choose topics that you can read. For example, uh, Charlie Combs, uh, Helen Keller, Houdini, and so on. You, you just follow one of the fandom writers, check uh, his content, and then you can give him a comment and so on. This is a simple idea. Uh, I'll send you the, the, the website after um, the session, inshallah. OK, another website is called Whom. It's called Archive of Our Owen. Is it clear for you, this website? I think it may be clear now. Just write down to me, please. Yes. So our Owen, our uh, uh, archive of our Owen, it's one of the great websites for applying fandoms. 
it has here uh, many sections or segments for books and literature, for example. You want to be a writer, fandom writer about literature, about celebrity people. You can have a person, one of the celebrity, and start to talk about it. Movies, you analyze movies and give your opinion about the next season and so on. Uh, music bands, theater, and so on. So this is another website for uh, fandoms. Let's go back here. So the last sentence here, it tells us when this, um, any show is in hiatus, like the, the meaning of this last sentence is when we have a break, for example, uh, Charlie Holmes, the first season, when we have a break, you as a fandom writer start to give your reflection about uh, the first season and what you expect of the second season. It is said that during this period of time, the writers uh, uh, of the scenarios of the, of the series of uh, Charlie Holmes or whatever, they may just check the um, your writing as a fandom, not you as a person, but uh, fandom writers in general, they just check what do people think of the first season? What do they expect of the second season? They may even change um, the scenario according to the imagination of people. And a great idea of fandoms also, I can like make the adaptation of Sharik Holmes of the Egyptian version. For example, um, the, the, the video about Ismail Yassin, for example, when he was a uh, 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 detective with police and so on. This may be a kind of adaptation for uh, Charles Holmes, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay, Mr. S. Okay. So we have now text readability, like four things we need to cover quickly, text readability, Lingru, Forvo, and VOA. For text readability, it's a kind of tool that I can use now. I decided uh, to read a passage. Uh, what should I do? Uh, uh, should I just read it and give it to my students in front of a teacher? Or I can do something to help me um, check whether it's suitable for my students or not. So this website, readable, you can just bring any text. Uh, for example, this one here, copy. Um, and then come here, readable, to show you. Uh, just tell me that you can see the picture or not. Can you see the picture now? Is it clear for you? Yes. So I just came here. I have this uh, icon, test your readability. Test your readability. Uh, you just... It gives you a space here to put any context and then start to make this kind of analysis. If you can see it here on the right side, uh, it tells you what level is this text, like A, B, C, or D. A is, uh, is like higher, E is lower. Um, what issues with this text? Maybe there is a grim... <laughs> Okay, I, I'll provide you, don't worry. The, the, the video is recorded, Ms. Hayat. <laughs> uh, um, so I, I'll provide you with the, the presentation. We'll have the websites and we'll have the video recorded so you can just uh, watch it uh, one by one. So you put the text to check whether this text suits your level of your students or not. Maybe it's so complicated for them. So it tells you here that it has eight issues with this. The issue may be grammatical, maybe about the synonyms and antonyms and so on. Um, so here, uh, I don't know why it's not going down, like, let's go like this. So anyway, when you have a good um, explorer, I'm sorry for the internet explorer is not doing well with me. Uh, it tells you um, if there is an issue with uh, uh, this text, like spelling mistakes, grammatical mistakes, um, how many words are there, how many sentences are there. It's not only about now choosing the, this uh, reading passage about my students, does the, the, the reading passage suit my students or not, 
No, you can't even, um, as a student or a researcher, check uh, how many vocabulary in this um, website. Do I have any grammatical mistakes? Is there any problem with the text? So it gives you great analysis of your text. This is for text analysis. Uh, now this, I, I double check the, the, the level of the text. I go to Lingru. What's Lingru? It's a dictionary online where you just um, put the text here now from any website. Uh, no. You just uh, bring the web the web of the text, for example, um, this page. You copy the link and then you paste it. You paste it here in Lingru. Again, Lingru is a dictionary, English, 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 German, German, English, but un unfortunately it doesn't have uh, this kind of uh, Arabic version. So you just bring down any website you want to read from and then Lingru will preview the website to you and uh, you can refer to any word, it's just downloading, you can refer to any word that you don't understand and it will translate it to you. Now this is the website, it may seem different, the, the archive for Owen Owen. So uh, if, for example, I don't know the meaning of archive, just click on it, it tells you the definition. So instead of leaving the file, going to dictionary like long man or whatever, um, I simply click on the word and I can find um, the English English dictionary. It can be English German if you want to learn German or any other language, French and many other uh, languages here, but unfortunately it doesn't have Arabic. So again, how can we get benefit from Lingru? We may show, uh, review all the sites and then read the uh, article, for example, from Ahram Weekly or any newspaper and so on, we face difficult word, we check for it. Yes, it can help us when correcting writing. Of course, Ms. Abir, this is what I was trying to say. But, um, go on, it's very beneficial. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so now we're taking just step by step. Uh, we reviewed the website. You can even upload a file if you're just writing, if you're just writing um, a file on Word and then you save it, you can upload it, but it takes much time. It's better to prove you, like to post it on, on a Facebook, for example, as a personal post, and then you preview the, the website. Okay, for Fervo, um, it's for pronunciation. It tells you the pronunciation of any word in any language. You just write down any word. So please write down any word that comes to your mind to search for it. Um, uh, I'll send it to the group, Mr. Muhammad, if you are in the group, I'll send the material to the group. Uh, by the way, at the end of uh, the session, uh, the, 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 last, the last website that we can use for grammar, it is some, some kind of helping the poor all over the world. I just, uh, I wanted to tell you this at the beginning of the session, but I forgot. Um, at the end, we'll send you the, the link for the, the feedback, the link for registration of the certificate. And the last website for grammar will be about uh, helping poor people all over the world while we apply vocabulary and grammar. I'll tell you how. So again, it's about uh, pronunciation uh, website. It also have categories here, like names, like uh, words related to medicine, words related to science, uh, to whatever. And guys here, if you're traveling to any world over the country, or if you have an English um, friend who's coming to Egypt, you can even provide him with the guide section where it has the, the basics of each language as context and so on. Um, useful phrases, for example, in German. If I'm traveling to Germany, uh, I just check for useful phrases in different, in different uh, contexts. For example, uh, let's take uh, getting around. You'll just want to take a taxi and so on. Here it tells you, for example, how much is a fare? You can listen to it. And the 
opposite of the other. Just there. Yes, the opposite of the other language. Fifele, uh, betrayed uh, their uh, fair price. I'm still trying to learn German. That's why I'm not that good in German. So it has many, like, uh, basic context uh, situations that you can offer to your students or learners or friends. Uh, last thing in this part is VOA. It is for pronunciation guides. This is the last part of vocabulary. Uh, we'll take uh, uh, like just short amount of time for grammar. So here you just search for how you pronounce uh, uh, words, especially names all over the world. For example, you can search here for Algeria. Um, it will bring to you some names that is found in Algeria and tell you how to pronounce it. For hot Abbas. For hot Abbas. So <laughs> if it is a name in like African names or European names or uh, even Arabic names and you want your friend to learn about the names, how to pronounce them, how to practice them, you can provide him with a VOA pronunciation guide. Um, we we'll stop here for the vocabulary. And now we need to play. Do you want to play? Just write down to me, yes or no, on the website, and the chat box. Sure, yes. Okay, who else? Does have only one to play? Who else, guys? So I'm going to open quizzes. You can just open quizzes right down the book, quizzes.com, and then join. Um, uh, which mobile? Uh, which which app? So let's share again. Someone is asking for an app on mobile. So can you tell me which? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it's only um, a website. Because you're just putting, uh, you're putting um, texts in this website and using dictionaries and so on. So uh, just check. You may find an application for this. Uh, share the screen again. I'm going to share it. So please go to quizzes.com um, and try to write down the code and write down, choose a name to apply this game. Sir Saber, go ahead. Sabir, I'm waiting for you. Go to quizzes. We need to check who just got anything of this workshop till now. I had the same course. Yeah, we have the first person, Ms. Delia. That's awesome. So write down quiz, uh, quizzes.com. Quizzes.com, write down in Google, quizzes.com, then enter through join a meeting. Okay, I'll try to send you, just if you go to Google and write down quizzes.com, let's bring it here. Write down the word quizzes. It will bring you here, if you can see the picture, the first one, which is join again. So only three, four, I was coming, five, <laughs> I'm waiting. Write down quizzes on Google. Uh, you can just, the first thing that comes to you, join a game, enter from join a game, and then write down this, uh, this code, four, two, five, 
9, 3, 6. 4, 2, 5, 9, 3, 6. Yes, we're very, uh, I'm so happy to have you here today. So it comes here and you write down the, 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 the pen here and then you write down a name. For example, uh, this is 4, 2, 5, 9, 3, 6. Seven only, guys, hurry up. Uh, we write down here the pen code, and then we write down any name, and then you start the game. I find your name here. 11, hurry up, hurry up. 13, go on. I was joining. Amar Amgat, nice to see you. So, shall we start? Hurry up. Abir, how are you again? 16, who's coming? Hurry up, guys. Okay. So let's start the game and let's check who is going to win. There is a pen here, you can use the pen. So I just posed the audio to be able to talk to you. Uh, if you want to join, you still have the pen code here. Write down the, the code and then write down your name. I'll try to post the code in the chat box. To everyone in the meeting. So Miss Dahlia is going well. Let's stop this audio. I'll use, like work as a commentator. Ms. Saber is competing. <laughs> Let's check who's going to win. Uh, Ms. Malaka, hurry up. Oh, you can do it. Amr is coming from down. Muhammad Wael is competing. <laughs> Omar M got, got some few mistakes, maybe because he just joined. Uh, Ms. Samira, hurry up. Um, so, so Ms. Abir. Uh, Muhammad Wail again, Saber in the first position, of course, our great teacher. Yeah, people are down or just moving. So the last question will be some kind of uh, surprise for you. So I got a mistake, oh my God. Ms. Dahlia is competing in the second place. Yeah, I was going to be the best one. I'll take a screenshot and send it uh, to the chat box. So the first one, Mr. Sober, Ms. Delia, this check will be uh, Mr. Amber, how are you? Yes. Mr. Midu Wail, I think it's Muhammad Wail. Uh, Ms. Noha, number four, who will be the fifth? Uh, let's check who can be the test. Wa'il, uh, Mr. Wa'il, 
that's very great. Okay. Um, I think that the last question, I just intended to do it. Are you ready for the second part, which is grammar? And you said yes. So uh, we have only a few uh, resources that we can, we have many actually, but I chose uh, some few resources that we can use uh, in, in grammar. So can you see the picture now of the screen uh, of the presentation? Write down to me, please, in the chat box. That's okay, Mr. Ahmed, try to, to watch the, the recording. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Osama. So uh, we have some few points we need to take, uh, like to cover. We, we covered COCA, of course, um, contemporary of continuous uh, American English. You can just watch the videos on YouTube about how to use it into grammar. Grammarly. I think we know Grammarly, right? How many people here know Grammarly? Okay, uh, Ms. Talia, can, can I just unmute you to, uh, to talk to us about Grammarly? Write down yes or no. Just to, not to uh, be offensive with you. Okay. Let's take you. Here it goes. Go ahead. Okay, it's for checking grammar rules. If you wrote any yes. message and you want to check your grammar, it mm -hmm. uh, allows you to give you uh, the correction of the mistake you made. Yeah. Uh, how can you use it inside class with, with your students? I think it's in writing. If you, you're doing something online, mm -hmm. uh, you can just put the message and we'll check it for you. Yes, that's very right? great. Yeah, exactly. So it is the same like uh, text readability tool. Yeah. It tells you about the words and so on. But yes. what's more important, it focuses more about grammar. Yes. It gives you grammat grammatical points about uh, the mistakes of grammar and so on. One but, more point. One more point. Yes. It uh, can tell you um, about the text. Is it friendly or formal or, or sorry, friendly or formal or whatever, Yani? Yes. Uh, the tune you're, you're uh, using in writing. Yes. Uh, why do you think this is important to know? Uh, to check the writing. It, it must be uh, grammatically right. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, um, Ms. Daria. Okay. So, to to you. so this is Grammarly. Um, you have more access for more features in Grammarly to correct your grammar and your writing uh, when you um, uh, make it premium account. But when it is for free, you have somehow limited features. Uh, the second one, which was uh, I, I want to show you, which is about VOA also. Um, let's check it here. So it's another series of VOA and we're not just taking much time in it. Um, it's about two or three minutes. It tells you a um, small point that you need, especially those who are uh, studying IELTS, it gives you uh, great ideas. So uh, can you see of um, this website I'm talking about? Everyday Grammar TV. Yes, the style also, Mr. Heinsen. Active way while writing emails. That's very great. That's awesome. So can you see the picture of Everyday Grammar TV? Exactly. So here is one of the videos. Uh, like it talks about a cleft sentence. The cleft sentence um, it's something that's better to use while you write either uh, for IELTS or for any normal writing. Uh, one great idea I want to share with you, which is everyday grammar parallelism. Um, this is a great idea to take care in our writing. Let's try to have uh, this video. Or just to save time, you can Yes, you can just watch it later. Let's try.
I'm not going to use internet executor again. <laughs> okay. So again, uh, parallelism, mean, parallelism means what? When you just uh, write down in phrases, you need to keep writing in phrases. For example, I, um, I, um, I go to school, study my lessons, and um, go back home, for example. So I, I don't say I'm studying at home, I go to school, I will travel. So this is different structures. No, you need to keep the structure pattern. pattern. Um, So this is the main idea of this point. So let's see the video. This is everyday grammar. Do you watch the news often? You will probably hear clips from the speeches. So not to um, just make the second, the last mistake. Uh, can you see the video and the audio? Yes or no? Write down to me, please. Yes. Okay. Here's a clip from President John. That we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship. Kennedy used a technique called parallelism. It means the repetition of grammatical forms. These forms could be nouns, noun phrases, verb phrases, and so on. Where was the repetition in Kennedy's speech? He used several verb phrases in a row. Pay any price. So you said the voice is not clear? Okay. Uh, you'll find also this, uh, like many videos, about, I like to show you this video, Parallel uh, Structure. It's very important for our speaking, even, and our writing, of course, uh, to have further structure. Okay. Uh, so now we covered everyday grammar. We covered Grammarly, Coca, and Grammar Ninja. Um, here, here is a form of Grammar Ninja. And this is another one. I hope they can work. So it's a kind of ninja game. Uh, where you can apply grammar while you are just uh, fighting people and so on. So let's have a look for this one. Okay. Of course, you go to the website. You'll find this in the presentation. Uh, you go to the website and then uh, escape ad, of course. Hello. And this is so here, for example, you start to choose uh, the level, you start to move. This is for more, more interesting for the children. You start to fight it, and it gives you a question. How does the word is function in the following sentence? My biggest fear is speaking. So please answer with me. Is it subject, predicate, direct object, or indirect object? What do you think? So you mean ninja, Mr. Amr? Picture not clear. I'm so sorry. Okay, so it gives us um, here an example. Um, how does the word is functioning in the following sentence? Then gives you a sentence. My biggest fear is so and so, and tells you four options. 
and students should uh, choose from the option. Okay, uh, so this is about Ninja. It's about a game that uh, students play when they face a problem. The problem is a kind of question. They need to answer the question um, to be able to complete the second stage. And uh, it can be for nouns, uh, nouns and like say, parts of speech in general, it can be about types of sentences and so on. So this is for Grammar Ninja. Uh, then we have another website, which is Root to Grammar. I will just take a few explanations about it. Bear any burden, meet any hardship. Parallelism is a kind of cohesion, a way to organize ideas so they are easier to understand. Parallelism in political speeches is often used to persuade or motivate an audience. So here, for example, root for grammar, let's open it. It's a website also for grammar where you can download uh, some worksheets for your students and you can also um, let them make like play a quiz online or you download the worksheet. For example, about adverbs, adjectives, part of speech, types of sentences, and so on. Here is the, the, the website. I'm so sorry for the, the quality of the screen. I don't know, I just tried with one of my uh, friends and it was doing well. So here, uh, you choose the topic that you want to teach for your students. Uh, you have online quiz, you can apply this with them, either individually, in pairs or groups, the way you think better. You have notes about uh, the, like what is adverb, what is adverb of frequency and so on. Um, I just want to share with you here an example of their uh, worksheet. It's downloading. Yes. So this is an example of the worksheet that you can download. It has three options like choose and so on for uh, the website. Okay. Um, we have no red ink. It is the same idea of uh, Grammarly, but it m in more advanced way. So let's see the video if you can see it now. Um, Can you see the, the, the screen of the video? Yes. Welcome to Never Ink. Our site is designed to help you differentiate instruction in grammar and writing, while also tracking your students' progress and keeping them engaged. We generate curriculum using their personal interests, so that whether they like Okay, um, simply what is what is no red ink? Okay, I'll, I'll just explain it to you. Um, what is no red ink? It's a website where um, your students choose their best. Can you see hear me well? My voice is clear. Yeah, yes, Mr. Osama, you can check the, the website later. Can you see me well? Uh, you, can you hear me well? My voice is clear now. Okay, so no read ink, it's more than better than um, Grammarly because Grammarly tells you there's uh, a grammatical mistakes and that's all, uh, and the, cor the, the, the correction. But in no read ink, firstly, your student choose their best story or their best characters. So they got involved uh, with you. Then it brings like sentences about the characters or from the story with like, without no um, punctuation marks. And it offers you, for example, semicolon and period and comma, and tells your students to 
to put uh, the correct um, uh, bank equation mark in its correct position. This is one point. Um, another point, which is, uh, it gives you words and like mixed words and tells you to reorder the words until you create complete accurate sentence. So it has many options like uh, um, uh, here, for example, it brings you a text. It bring it can bring you a text, and uh, with a green word, the word is not correct. But whenever you click on the word, you have three words on one in one word, and then you check which word is better for this context. For example, um, in addition, although, or however, um, in in a like the start the beginning of the sentence. What do you think is accurate in this situation or this context. Um, one last thing I want to share with you, this is the last thing and this is where um, it can be like helping poor people all over the world, uh, which is called, uh, let me give it to you. Free rice. Have you ever like checked this website before? I'll try to use it through Google so that it can be good. So please, the one who's trying to write down the screen. Yes, uh, you know it. So can, can I just unmute you and tell us about it, please? Shai, can I just... Uh, can I just unmute you and just talk to us about it? Let's check here. Yes, you should be here now with us. Okay, so yes. So um, this website, Free Rice website, uh, I hope you can see it now. Um, it's about um, mass questions, vocabulary questions, grammar questions, any questions uh, in different fields. Uh, what you need to do is to answer questions. Um, each correct question you choose, it saves um, uh, one piece of like rice and money for poor people all over the world. This is for the United Nations, the, 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 the organization of the fund of the, of the food organization of the United Nations. And uh, whenever you choose a correct answer and you answer correct uh, questions, you can come here, for example, for the subjects and choose uh, grammar or geography. It's in Arabic here. Uh, you can choose any topic that you are interested in. Uh, it's about coronavirus. It has other uh, points. We have math, science, science and uh, there is one for English, for writing and uh, for grammar and vocabulary. Uh, the more you choose correct answer, the more it gives people all over the world money. For example, four plus four, eight. So, each answer helps the poor people all over the world. Uh, I'm done till, na uh, till now. I'm done uh, with my presentation. Um, I hope it wasn't this, uh, I hope it was beneficial for you. And if you can see in the chat box now, Mr. Sober have posted you the link. Uh, please fill it for um, registration and your feedback about the session. Uh, I'm so sorry again for the quality of the videos for uh, the pictures and so on. Uh, I just tried it, I was working well. But you know, technology sometimes have its uh, problems. Okay, so please write down or fill down the application so that you can receive the certificate of uh, attendance and give us your feedback. If you have any uh, questions, please uh, just write down to me in the chat box.
Thank you, Ms. Daria. Thank you, Mervery. Thank you so much. iPhone, I don't know your name, so thank you. Thank you so much. So any other question? Do you have any question about this? Uh, Mr. Saber, uh, Mr. Amri says the application doesn't work, but someone else, Mr. Amri said, I have filled it. Muhammad I said, I have filled it. So try to check it again. Where um, I just uh, show you the last screen here. This is my mail. This is my WhatsApp numbers. Um, and this is my Facebook account. Uh, so if you can just take a picture or take a screen of them. Uh, if you have any question, anything related to uh, the session or the link or whatever you want to ask me, uh, for those who ask for websites for teaching children at home, please uh, reach me privately, please. It works, but the title of your course is not there. No, 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 just write down the, like, your feedback, yeah, Mr. Baker. It's some kind of general, just write down, um, um, the vocabulary uh, using technology with the vocabulary in front. Thank you so much. Uh, please write to me. I found your name so that I can thank you. Uh, the certificate will not reach you right now, Muhammad. It will send you to your email uh, that you in, you entered. Hadir. Okay, Mr. Sawir, I'll unmute you. Hello, Mr. Abdelmat. Yes, Mr. Sabu, go ahead. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, you have been amazing as usual. Thank you so much. And well, technology wasn't amazing today. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we're well, talking I about technology actually, and... <laughs> I actually learned a lot. Thank you. So um, because, um, you know, inserting technology in education is something crucially important, as you know. Yes. And second of all, uh, I've tried myself the form and it's working. So for those who said it's not working, no, it's working and everything is um, great. And I think I, I would the first one to fill in the form and I, I will be the first one to take the certificate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Uh, so for those uh, who are saying that it's not working, you can try again, but you know, I, I've tried it myself and it's working. Uh, Mr. Thank Sober, you, Mr. Amri is suggesting, uh, if you can just hear Mr. Sober, Mr. Amri is suggesting to send the, uh, the, you mean the link, Mr. Amri, I think, the link to the WhatsApp group so that they can sell it. What do you think? Yes, Mr. Amri Rabia, is it you? Uh, yes. Okay, I can send it to you privately. Okay, yes. So if you didn't receive the, the <clears throat> or I'm talking to the audience here, if you didn't receive, if you didn't find the, the, link working well just send us a private message you have my numbers in whatsapp you, uh, if you have mr sober send him a message for the link. okay if you allow me mr abul magda i'm going to send them the group link of webinars it's okay because some people are not uh, in it okay just there is a, in uh, it. yes there's a link uh, for the group uh, or, or the group on whatsapp for webinars yes um, Ms. Amel said, are, the, are these tools good for only learning, uh, only online learning? Um, I can, I use, I use the Quizlet, for example, and Kahoot and Quizzes and so on uh, inside my class and outside. So it depends. But what do you mean by online here? If it is online, yes, it's about internet. Um, it can be applied on classes, yes. The game of um, quizzes, we have matching game. I used to make my students into groups. Each two group uh, like compete each other. Um, quizzes, uh, Quizlet have a timer, has a timer, so you can check which group achieve uh, the task in uh, fewer time, fewer amount of time. Okay, so, Mr. Uh, I have just sent in the chat box the group WhatsApp, uh, the WhatsApp group link. That's good. <laughs> so for those who haven't joined it, it yet you can do uh, I, uh, I hope so. Ms. Amel, again, for uh, your question, if you, if you, if we can, we can have like um, more discussion, like free discussion, please send me a message on Facebook or any one of these WhatsApp numbers. 
thank you so much. Ms. Summer said it is It's not working well. Uh, thank you, Muhammad Wa'il. Uh, Mr. Haytham said it's working. That's great. Ms. Dalia, it's working. Um, please excuse, excuse my technology. No, <laughs> it was supposed to work well. Um, it will, there will be a certificate of attendance that you attend this um, session. Just write down your, your email so that we can reach you. As for the materials, Mr. Amr, I'll send them to uh, the WhatsApp group. And uh, if you have um, any WhatsApp or something, just reach me through WhatsApp or Facebook. I'll send it to you. Um, yeah, Mr. Amr is already in the WhatsApp group, so he will receive yes. them once you send them, Mr. Abdullah. <clears throat> yes, and Ms. Abir, of course, uh, submitted her form. Uh, I'm so happy to have here to have her with us. Uh, what should um, I use? I use uh, for the devices I can use inside class. I only use the the projector. I can make students either individually or in pairs. And in this case, if I'm just using few amount of students, this is a good question, actually. Uh, now, uh, if you have a projector and you want to make some students engage uh, in a, a quiz or Quizlet or whatever uh, on the projector, on the board. So what about the other students? This is a, a question that I thought of. Um, now we apply what's called the staged learning. Staged learning. Staged learning means what? It means that uh, you make a stage in, in the lesson, like each group is doing something else so that each one has a task. Um, uh, of course, Mr. Wael, I'll provide you. Please reach me on the WhatsApp, uh, my WhatsApp numbers or Facebook account. I'll provide you with many uh, websites. It's work. Thank you so much, Mr. Osama. Uh, Dr. Amgad, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So do you have any other questions for me or Mr. Saber? Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Saber. I'm so happy to have you today with us. Uh, now we can stop recording and stop sharing the screen and everything, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the first screen.